everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you my very first bookshelf tour. So as you know, my husband and I moved into our new house a few weeks ago and I told you a little bit about the shelves that I put together. So now I am officially going to show you what they look like, the, the full view of the shelves and all the books that are on them as well as explain a little bit about how I like to organize my books. So without further ado, let's just get started with the tour. All right, here they are. So I have four shelves. Um, the first three on the left are my books and then the last shelf is made up of my husband's books. So as you can see, really the shelves in this room are really the only thing that's like really put together and organized, but hey, priorities, right? So let's just get started by going shelf by shelf and showing you all the books that I have. All right, shelf number one. The first book, hi. The first book that I'm going to show you is P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. I actually got this in Ireland on my honeymoon in Galway, which I thought was pretty awesome. The next book is The Ishbane Conspiracy by Angela, Karina, and Randy Alcorn followed by Lord Falgren's Letters, also by Randy Alcorn. Next up is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Then we have the Chronicles of Brothers books, the first one being The Fall of Lucifer, book two, The First Judgment, and book three, Son of Perdition all by Wendy Alec. The next book is Lost Lake by Sarah Addison Allen. Then we have The Sugar Queen by Sarah Addison Allen. Next up is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, followed by Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Then I have The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Next up, personal favorite, A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. Then the Six of Crows duology, beginning with Six of Crows. And Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo. The next book I actually don't have a cover for, but it is The Magicians and Mrs. Quint by Galen M. Beckett. Next up is Cemetery Girl by David Bell. The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend by Katarina Bavald. The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And another personal favorite, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Shelf number two. The first one is a bind up of the complete novels of Charlotte and Emily Bronte with Jane Eyre, Shirley, Wuthering Heights, Villette, and The Professor. Next up is Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Carol Rifka Brunt. Then we have The Dead Boys by Royce Buckingham. Next up is a beautiful edition of The Secret Garden by Frances Hodson Burnett childhood favorite and another childhood favorite a little princess also by Frances hodson burnett that is my original copy from fourth grade the miniaturist by jesse burton then i have the first book in the codex alara series by jim butcher and it's called the furies of calderon the next two books are by christian kristen keshore excuse me the first one being graceling and the second one being fire The next book is a beautiful edition of The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. The Reader by Tracy Chi. I actually won that in a giveaway that was hosted by Heather over at Bookables. The first in the Seven Realms series, and it's called The Demon King by Cinda Williams Trima. Then we have The Warrior Heir, The Wizard Heir, and The Dragon Heir also all by Cinda Williams Trima. The next two books are by Agatha Christie, the first being Murder on the Orient Express and 
and then there were none. The Passage by Justin Cronin. Then another personal favorite, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane by Kate DiCamillo. I love this author and this book. Next up, another childhood favorite, Firebringer by David Clement Davies. Matilda by Roald Dahl. And last but not least on this shelf is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Shelf number three, Room by Emma Donahue. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Unblemished by Sarah Ella. Peace Like a River by Leif Anger. Next up is probably my favorite book cover that I own, and that is Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. The next up is the short stories of F. Scott Fitzgerald. I also don't have a cover for this. My mom gave that to me a long time ago. Then my high school copy of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. Next, Juliet by Anne Fortier. Then we have North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory. Then we have a bind up of the Tales of Grimm and Anderson that was given to me by my friend Julie. Very old edition that I think is very cool. Then I have a book called Companion Library and it's the Grimm's and Anderson's fairy tales all in one book, which I thought was cute. Found that at a yard sale. Next up is The Magicians by Lev Grossman. It actually belongs to my husband. Next up is Homegoing, another beautiful cover by Yaw Jossie. Then I have the four books in the Sookie Stackhouse series, the first one being Dead Until Dark. The next one is Living Dead in Dallas. The third one is Club Dead, and I don't care for this cover, but hey, what am I going to do? And the fourth one is Dead to the World, all by Charlene Harris. I would really like to collect the rest of the series eventually, one day. Next is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. And last but not least, on this shelf, we have Les Mis, or Les Miserables, if that's how you say it, by Victor Hugo. Shelf number four. The first book that I'm going to show you is Vlad, The Last Confession by C.C. Humphreys, another favorite. Then a very cool edition of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, also by Victor Hugo. I found this at an old used bookstore, and they have the animated Disney characters in the front, which I thought was cool. Next up is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. The next book is actually not mine. I borrowed it from my friend Jessica, and I just have not read it yet, and that is Death Comes to Pemberley by P.D. James, kind of like an unofficial sequel mystery to Pride and Prejudice. Next is Be Frank With Me by Julia Claiborne Johnson. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Beautiful cover. Again, another beautiful cover, and that is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. The first in the series, or trilogy. This is number two in the trilogy called The Invasion of the Tearling. I cannot wait until The Fate of the Tearling comes out in paperback. This is Burial Rights by Hannah Kent. Then the only Stephen King I have ever read, and that is The Green Mile, and it is beautiful. This next book is The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub. It's actually very special to me because it belonged to my step-grandmother who passed away last year, and she gave that to me when I was young, and I will keep it forever. Then I do own the first 10 books of the Left Behind series by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. However, I'm missing the first one, and they all pretty much look the same, so I'm not going to pull them out. Next up, we have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, followed by Go Set a Watchman, also by Harper Lee. 
Next up, just got this one, and it is Since We Fell by Dennis Lehane. Where the Heart Is by Billy Letts. Then a bind up, it actually belongs to my husband, of The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. My copy for middle school, and that is The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Then I have the Throne of Glass series, the first one being Throne of Glass. The second one, Crown of Midnight. I'm missing Heir of Fire, and that's number three. Number four is Queen of Shadows. And number five is Empire of Storms, and I definitely getting that when it comes out in paperback. Then we have the first two books in the Akatar series, the first one being A Court of Thorns and Roses, and the second one being A Court of Mist and Fury. I just finished A Court of Wings and Ruin, and I definitely liked it, not as much as the second one though. The next book that I will show you is Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Next up, another good one, and that is Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Highly recommend. Next up is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Then I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Then I have the first three books in the Lunar Chronicle series. First one is Cinder. Followed by Scarlet. And last but not least on this shelf is Cress, all by Marissa Meyer. All right, next shelf. The first book is The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. Very good ghost story. Then we have The Night Sister, also by Jennifer McMahon. Then I have the complete Twilight series, the first one obviously being Twilight. And I don't have the covers for the rest of them, but they are New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. Then we have The World of Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. Cute. I've had that since I was a baby, actually. Then we have one that I have not read, but I'm very excited to get to, and that is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The next two books are both by Kate Morton. The first one is The Forgotten Garden. I love all of the covers to her books. They just look so magical. And the second one is The Secret Keeper. Again, beautiful cover. Then we have a very beat up copy of Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, but got it in as a donation at the library. Get a prettier copy in the future. And then the sequel to Me Before You, and that is After You by Jojo Moyes. The next book is much beloved by me. I absolutely love this book, and that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Next up is Hatchet by Gary Paulson, another childhood favorite. Next up is The Raven and Other Writings by Edgar Allan Poe. And then I have Yes, Please by Amy Poehler. And as I was pulling this off the shelf, I realized that it's not actually fiction. It's nonfiction. And I don't know why I put it there, but oh well. Then we have The Yearling by Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings. And then the last book on this shelf is my other copy of Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I have two because I love it so much. Next shelf. The book that we have is The Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, followed by the rest of the books in the Vampire Chronicle series. Number two is The Vampire Lestat. Number three is The Queen of the Damned. Not crazy about that cover. Then we have The Vampire Armand, Memnock the Devil. I've heard really creepy things about this. I don't know if I'm going to read it or not. Then we have The Tale of the Body Thief. And then the next book is Angel Time, which is the first in a different series by Anne Rice about angels as opposed to vampires. Then we have another favorite of mine, and that's Francine Rivers' Redeeming Love. <laughs> another beautiful book. Then we have the Harry Potter series. Everybody knows these, so I don't want to say the titles over and over. 
um, but I do have those seven books as well as the illustrated editions of the first two, the first being The Sorcerer's Stone, the second one being The Chamber of Secrets. I do plan on reading these right before the third illustrated book comes out in October. The next book is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. That's the first book in the Mistborn trilogy. And the last book on this shelf is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Next up is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Then we have Vicious, also by V.E. Schwab. I've yet to read anything by her, but I'm very excited to. Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. Excuse me while I shift for a second. Next up is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Then we have the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society by Mary Ann Schaefer with Annie Barrows. Next up is Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Another modern classic that I'm excited to get to, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. Then we have Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. I only have this because I love the movie so much. The next book is The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. Then we have The Art of, excuse me, my phone died. I had to start over, but I skipped The Art of Racing in the Rain. And then we have A Sudden Light by Garth Stein. The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Stewart. Dracula by Bram Stoker. And then the unofficial sequel to Dracula, The Undead, which was written by Bram Stoker's grandson, I think, Doc Gray Stoker. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Ever the Hunted by Aaron Summerill, another beautiful cover. Then we have Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, the movie tie-in cover, and I don't know who wrote that. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Then another personal favorite, and that is The Bone Setter's Daughter by Amy Tan. And The Joy Luck Club also by Amy Tan. The Darkest Corners by Kara Thomas. And the last book on the shelf is one of my editions of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Next shelf is a bind up of The Lord of the Rings one of the ones that I own. Then we have another edition of The Hobbit, and then a matching set of The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, The Return of the King, and The Silmarillion. I absolutely love all of these covers and how they look so nicely together on the shelf. Then we have The Children of Hurin, followed by another bind-up of The Lord of the Rings, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. Then a beautiful book, and that is The Beauty and the Beast by Gabrielle Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve. Is that how you say it? I don't know, but it's beautiful. The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. The Martian by Andy Weir. Another beautiful cover and I Darken by Kirsten White. Next up is The Shack by William Paul Young. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. And last but not least for fiction is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This next shelf focuses on Christian nonfiction. The first book is Heaven by Randy Alcorn. Next up is Spoken For by Robin Jones Gunn and Alyssa Joy Bethke. Chaos Beneath the Shade by Tracy Bickle. 
Next up is An Arc of the Christian World of the Hobbit by Devin Brown. My husband very kindly ordered this for me on Amazon, and they sent him an arc, which I found kind of frustrating, but it's still really sweet that he got it for me. This is Crazy Love by Francis Chan. Then we have The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Real Marriage by Mark and Grace Driscoll. Beautiful Outlaw by John Eldridge. Highly recommend. Another book by John Eldridge, and that's Walking with God. The next book John Eldridge wrote with his wife Stacy, and that is Captivating, one of my favorite books of all time. I absolutely adore it. Then Stacy wrote another book called Becoming Myself. Next up is Kingdom Woman by Tony Evans, which he wrote with his daughter Crystal Evans Hurst. The Christian Atheist by Craig Groeschel. Being White by Paula Harris and Doug Shop. The Love Dare. I don't know the author's first name, but his last name is Kendrick. Unchristian by David Kinnaman. Then a bind up of C.S. Lewis's signature classics Mere Christianity, The Screw Tape Letters, The Abolition of Man, The Great Divorce, The Problem of Pain, Miracles, and A Grief Observed. Then another edition of The Screw Tape Letters. More Than a Carpenter by Josh and Sean McDowell. Introverts in the Church by Adam S. McHugh. Blue Like Jazz by Donald Miller. Then an itty bitty book, devotional book called Jesus Day by Day by Beth Moore. Followed by another Beth Moore devotional. And that is called Jesus 90 Days with the One and Only. Next up is The Power of a Praying Wife by Stormy a Martian. Then we have a workbook to go along with the next cover that I'm going to show you, and that is Saving Your Marriage Before It Starts by Les and Leslie Parrott. That's the program my husband and I went through for premarital counseling. This is A Guide to Christian Apologetics by Doug Powell. Then a book that was written by a former pastor of mine, Brett Rickey, and that is called Boomerang. The next book is actually not mine, it belongs to my friend Jessica, and that is The Intimate Marriage by R.C. Sproul. Next up is The Case for Christ by Lee Strobel. Then a book that was is near and dear to my heart. I read it when I was still single before I met my husband, and that's The Sacred Search by Gary Thomas. The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. Hearing God by Dallas Willard. Then a special edition of the Bible. It's called The Story. It is told in a chronological format, so it reads a little bit more like a continuous story rather than the traditional format of the Bible. Then we have a hymnal that I found at Goodwill several years ago. I got it because I was going to cut out the pages to use for crafts, but I just haven't done it yet. All right, and this last shelf is miscellaneous, just journals. The first two books on the shelf are two of my journals. Then we have miscellaneous nonfiction, the first being the 52 Lists Project, which is like a journaling program. This is On Writing by Stephen King. I recently found this at a local used bookstore. It's a beautiful edition, and I've always wanted to read it. The next book is called Discover Who You Are by Jane A.G. Kais and a couple of other authors. It was really helpful to me in college. Then we have Inside of a Dog by Alexandra Horowitz. Planning on reading this before we get a dog, which hopefully will be sometime this year. Night by Ellie Weissel. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. Then we have Dewey, the small town library cat that who touched the world by Vicki Myron. 
Take Your Best Shot by Austin Gutwein. The next book I highly recommend if you're considering being a librarian or if you want to find out what it's like to be a librarian, it's called This Book is Overdue by Marilyn Johnson. Very, very funny, very good. Then I have a few plays, the first one being Noises Off by Michael Frayn. I was actually in this play in high school and I played one of the leads, Mrs. Clackett. I put a sticker over her face for some reason, who knows. Then we have some Shakespeare with Hamlet. Then I've got King Lear, Macbeth, The Merchant of Venice, and Twelfth Night. The next play is a contemporary adult. It's called Rabbit Hole by David Lindsay Bear. It's a great play. The movie is pretty good too. Then we have A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Then I have Kirk Cameron's autobiography, Still Growing. I actually met him and he signed it for me, which was pretty cool. Then I have a favorite picture book, and that is The Polar Express by Chris Van Alsberg. I got this because I absolutely adore the movie and the illustrations in it are beautiful. Next up is a book that I love so much. It's old, it's the official book of the Backstreet Boys. I've had it since I was maybe like 10, I don't know. Super cool. Then I have a few coloring books, a magazine, a Beauty and the Beast picture book that my stepbrother gave me a few years ago. Then The Atlas of Middle Earth by Karen Wynn Fonstad. Super cool. Then I have an old treasury of fairy tales that I've had since I was a kid. I just remember reading it over and over. This is a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. It's a play I have checked out from my library. Then I have the fifth season also checked out from my library and it's by N.K. Jemison. That's a binder that I use for notes from church. And then I wanted to show you my other Bible. This is called the Inspire Bible. And if you haven't heard of it before, it's really cool. It's beautiful. And on the inside, there's lots of space in the margins for journaling and notes, as well as illustrations and verses that you can color, which I think is just very, very cool. Cool way to memorize some verses. And then is there's my study Bible there on the shelf, NLT. Then I'm gonna do a quick pan of my husband's books. Like I said, the last shelf is devoted to all of his books. He has a lot of fantasy, books on Ireland, some nonfiction, C.S. Lewis, lots of Christian nonfiction. I thought you would like to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching my very first bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too terribly long for you. Um, but comment down below and let me know if you've read any of the books on my shelves or if you spied any of your favorite books on my shelves as I would love to know what your favorite books are and if we have any favorites in common. So I will see you guys very soon with a new bookish video very soon. It will be a tag, I promise. <laughs> Bye guys.